Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to understanding different elements and details tab in Polite Software. Our flagship courses are Master Static Equipment Design and PVE Lite ASME Section 8 Division 2 and Master Welded Storage Tank as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs. So do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. Definitely we'll be starting from very basic. So even if you have not opened PV light previously, still you will be able to follow. Okay. If you are using any other software, then it will be very smooth. It will be very simple for you. Just you have to see that these inputs, you know, where we are providing in this software. Okay. So nothing to worry. Great. So good to go. Let me start. So don't worry, even if you've not opened earlier, you will be able to follow. Okay. So you can see uh, these are the file options from where we'll be opening a new file you can create or you can open a previous file which you have prepared or saved. And this is for saving the file. Normal column, nothing to explain here. This is important. These are the elements which you can design in PV Lite software. Remember at this point that PV Lite is not a modeling software. It's a design software. So you cannot model any shape which you want. You can only model the shapes which are predefined. Okay. Nothing can be created. Okay. If it's modeling software, you can model whatever you want by giving the different dimensions. But here it's limited and limited to how many shapes you can see here. Okay, so there are 10 elements, right? Starting from shell, which is the very basic element. And then you have dishen and this dishen. So anytime if you click on an element, so you'll be able to see what which element that is. So this is ellipsoidal head. Okay. This is a shell element, cylindrical shell element. This is a sphere, hemisphere. If you add, you can create a full sphere also. Then you have a tori sphere. You have conical shell. You have welded flat head. You have flanges. If you want to design a non-standard flange, then you can select this option. Then we have a skirt. So for vertical vessel, if you want to provide a skirt, that also be becomes part of the element. Okay. So only these are the shapes which you can create. Okay. So create means you don't have to draw anything. Just select the element and that element will be created. Okay. So selected cylinder, it is created. Now I can change the dimensions from here. So if I add cone, you can see cone is getting added. Again, I'll add a cylinder. Okay. Then I can add a tori spherical head. I'll add the tori sphere. Okay. But you can see that when I'm adding, the elements are moving from bottom to top. Right. So that is how the by default creation will be from bottom to top. Okay. And if it's a horizontal, component then it will be from left hand side to right hand side that is how the normal flow will be but now if you want to add something before right if there is a shell you want to add hemispherical or two is to an ellipsoidal hand before this element okay. if i select this element and add it will be added after this element okay so if i want to add before i will be using a utility option okay you can see here there is an insert element. So I'll select that. Then whatever I want to add, if I want to add an elliptical head, I'll select elliptical head. And then where I want to add, obviously before I want to add, because after any way I can do without using this. Okay. So I'll be using before and I'll say, okay. Got it. So like that. So if I'm creating a model, from top to bottom, it will be difficult for me because every time I have to use this option, insert, and then I'll be able to move from top to bottom. 
when I'm moving from bottom to top, I don't have to use this option. Just click on adding. Just click on adding the elements and all these elements will be getting added. Easy. From bottom to top or left to right. Okay. Makes sense. So, so that is how we flow. How to add in between. Okay. So now let us see if you add an element in between. Okay. So I'll select this element. Okay. And then you can insert or even, I think you can even the 60, 70 is added. Let us call it as unless we call it as a name we will not be able to identify. Okay. So shell one let, let us say okay so if i just select this and just add so it is not adding it is taking on the top okay so what you will be doing you'll select the shell element 60 70 and then what i'll do i'll insert where i want to insert after this element so i'll be using insert okay so now you can see a small element is inserted make sense yes. so whenever in between you have to add or previous to any element you have to use the insert option kids okay. that is what you have to use so simple to create the model uh, but whatever you are creating now it's the default dimension which it is taking okay so if i have to change the dimension i'll go to the input data here and I can change it. Okay. So we'll talk about that also. But let us see the other options. So this is the main element. Okay. Now, if I'm making a pressure vessel, what do you think the other auxiliary items may be required to be added on this? What are the items which may be required to be added for this element? Maybe lifting luck, maybe flanges, nozzles, what else? Stiffeners. Okay, if it is external pressure vessel platforms, if it's a column, you may have to add some internals like packing, tray, right? You may have to add a jacketed pipe, half pipe, bracket support, lots of other items which can be added. So how to add them? So for that, you'll be add going to the details option, limpet coil. Okay, so you can see these options side glass and uh, light glass you can add so you'll be seeing what options we have only those options you can utilize okay no other option so you can see here these are the details which you can add on this element okay so if i select whichever element i want to add i'll be selecting that element and then using this option so first one is for stiffener ring Second one for nozzle input. So any nozzle if I want to add, I can add from here. If I want to apply forces and moment, okay, that also I can add by using this. If I want to add weight, there is some weight that item I cannot model, but that weight has to be taken care of. So that kind of things I can just add as a weight. Then you have platform option. You can use platform option. So don't worry, we'll be using most of them and try to create in your model. So right now we are just getting familiar with what is available so that you know what is available, what is not available. Then there is packing. Sometimes in column you may have consider of packing. Okay. So when I say ladder platform packing what do you think pv light will be designing that ladder platform or pla packing if i'm adding what do you think am i designing those parts by using pv light or just considering the weight of them we are not designing ladder or platform or packing or tray we are just considering for addition of the weight. So your model or your vessel will be designed for that weight. Nothing else. Don't consider that you will be able to design that platform. Platform design is another task. 
which typically done by the uh, you know, civil engineers. Okay. Now, saddle. So, for vertical vessel, you can see that input is not activated because saddle will be used only for the horizontal vessel. So, when I make this horizontal, then this option I'll be able to use. You have lug input, lug or bracket support. I can provide lug support or bracket support to my equipment. Okay. So, now for bracket support or a saddle support, is this also for only weight or will be designing those component also? The support part, saddle support or bracket or lug support. Are we designing in PV light or only weight? So, this is for design. Remember, this is not only for weight, but you'll be actually designing those components. Okay. Bracket support and saddle support. Also, the leg support. So, you'll be designing the leg support also. Okay. So, it's not like all these options only are for weight. Some are only for weight consideration as a load, but others you will be designing them. Okay. Now you have another option which is for insulation. Again, insulation is for weight consideration. You have liquid, design liquid that is used for design so because that will be adding the static head. Additional pressure will be created because of that option. Then you have lining. So you can see this option that is for lining. Okay, so you can use this for lining. Then you have half pipe jacket or limpet coil. So that option is also available. You can design those parts by using this option. Then clip. Okay, sometimes there is a some component getting welded, okay, and there is a load are getting applied on that. Okay, so one example maybe ladder or platform support or any other pipe getting supported by this vessel. So there will be load transfer by that component. So in that case, you can use this option and apply that load on that component. Make sense? Then you have jacket. So vapor jacket or distribution belt. That is nothing but a kind of jacket. Okay. So that also you can model. This option is for tube sheet. Okay, That we use for heat exchanger design. This is the lifting lug or trunian. So we'll see that. And then you have ribs or stiffeners, which is basically API 79 or EN code when we select. That time we have to use that option. This is for uh, API 579 in service inspection design. And to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.